we've now gone through a few options of that initial uh, approach to the suspect where the suspect has shown an assaultive nature. So he's tried to hit me. Remember, at all times, I'm trying to de-escalate or disengage. I'm just going to get you to turn on the other side for a second here. To de-escalate and disengage. I've tried everything before this assault has happened. I've moved away from his power hand or the hand that looked aggressive. In this case, it's his left. Normally, 95% of the population will attack with the right. So I'm going to ask my partner here to attack me with the right. He can attack me with the left in, in other drills, which we've shown you. But just in this case, I'd like to follow up on the series so far. So I've broken that arm down. I've gone to grab his head. He's blocked me. I've trapped him, and I've re-grabbed his head. The option was for me to take him down. The second option was to control and hook and take him down. Now I'm going to go to a third option. Instead of blocking me, he grabs at me. So the first thing that he did was he went to strike at me. I broke him down. I went to grab, uh, to grab his head and he's grabbed me. I want to have that instant reaction of clamping the hand and driving my elbow into his chest where it drives him down. It allows me to go right down, down, onto your stomach, into that initial sequence that I taught you with knee control. I want the weight off his back. I'm always concerned about prone or positional asphyxia. I don't want him, especially if he's intoxicated, to choke if he vomits. I need to get him out of this position as quick as possible, especially if I don't have handcuffs on me. I have the wrist in control. I drive it into the back of his forearm, I take the weight off of his body, I get him to get up, 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 into control position. When training this, you want to make sure that you're not going to break your partner's wrist, and I don't want you to break the suspect's wrist. So we're going to take this slow, I've broken down that arm, I went to enter, he grabs, I press in. Okay? I want you to come around on the other side. I moved away from the power side. I reacted. I went to grab his head. And right here, I press with my right foot. And I've tied up. And you say, well, he could hit you in the groin, but I've just taken him down. I want to roll the elbow hard part of the forearm into him. And then I'm going to drag him flat on his belly, keeping contact. Down, down, down. I use my leg pressure to control him. So if he tries to get up, stay down. Verbal commands. Allow him to get up on his own. And that is the grabbing reaction in our defensive tactics series.